We're going to do another Q&A where we go over a couple of videos uh, of some of my friends and a new player to the clan of Borg, Brothers of Relentless Gaming, and some that I was saving for a top five, but I think that would be a good time to go over. Um, I actually have this halfway recorded. My phone died on me, so I am working on this for the second time. Oops. Wrong. Come on. Going to my friends list here. Terror asked me to go over this game of him. He plays the same guy quite often, apparently, because they're leveling up together, so they keep matching up against each other. I do know at one point I was actually fighting Terror, but I managed to, I guess, get a little bit ahead of him. We're still pretty much the same on units, but because i am got a lot of medals on my fight now, I just probably played more. Doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> but, all right, so Terror versus Rudeville. This is there were three he asked me to go over, but this was the one that he said was close. Um, the others were just people making common mistakes. I think I've mentioned before in my videos, so I'm not gonna go over them. But Terror is all eights in this and a seven hero fully upgraded, so almost eight against an eight hero fully upgraded and one two three four eights and two nines. So he is at a level disadvantage, yet he won this one. Once it actually loads. There we go. Let's see, Terror is not on the right. He goes for a Rifleman Scout first. The other guy also goes for a Rifleman Scout. Terror gets out his Harvester. Good. The other guy does not get out a Harvester. I feel this is a mistake. He builds a second Rifleman. I'm sure, yep, Terror matches that. So they're pretty even, except Terror has a full... Unit advantage because the other guy didn't build a harvester. Now he's got it, but he's he's at a money disadvantage already. Speed this up a little bit for a bit. <coughs> Another rifleman. Terror does very good. He gets out of venom to counter them. The other guy tries to counter the venom with a pit bull. The second venom was unnecessary for Terror. I do believe that was a big mistake. That guy's got another pit bull. Because, I mean, he already had the one and the rifleman to kill with the rifleman. Venom wasn't going to counter pit bulls. Uh, he builds rocket squads to counter those pit bulls. That was good of Terror. And he's fighting the APC with rocket squads. As long as he gets something out to deal with infantry like a Venom later, he'll do good. Gets out an air unit to finish off the APC and to capture the base quickly for the first missile. Very good of Terror. Other guy's building some rocket squads, I guess because he saw the air. Uh, Terror builds a flame troop. I think that was a little premature over there because he didn't have the APC down yet. But it was very good of him to build to counter the rocket squads coming out. And he's got riflemen to counter the other APC, but they're just holding the base. Uh, Rudville's making the mistake. He should have moved that APC over a long time ago. He could have essentially gotten a missile out. Uh, and now he's going for high tech. Terror's being very good. He's countering it with high tech units of his own. Got some air stalling. He's focused completely on the bottom, which is two points while well, giving up one, giving him another missile for game. He doesn't even care about his harvester. He's just trying to keep that point. So he tried to body block, did a very good job there. <coughs> and that's game. <coughs> good job on Terror's part. Like I said, a little mistake with the double venom. The other guy screwed up a lot. I mean, it took him a while to get out his harvester. And then he went for one point in place of two. There was, I don't know, and he didn't move that APC over. If he moved that APC over, he could have gotten a missile much earlier, and then the game would have gone further, and him killing the Harvester and having that big stuff up top might have turned around into his favor. But there were a few little mistakes. That Little mistakes are always going to happen. That was a really good game, very close, uh, actually, because of the way that um, both Terra and him matched up pretty well. Uh, all right, so, the video I'm going to go over for BFM is a little further up here. This is a new player, he's a much, oh, that video is gone. That saddens me, because I had a whole bunch of important things to tell him on that. Ah. Uh. Oh, we've got this one. Let's go over this. All right. So, 
BMF is a new player. Everybody's got to learn somewhere. Um, here he's fighting a lower level player. Before I even get into the gameplay, I'm going to go over his army a little, see if I can help him out. Because just looking at it, I can already see so much. He should win this because of level, of his troops and his hero. But early game, you need to have an opener. And because I don't see a scout, I don't see him doing a scout opener. The only good potential opener he has is to rush with either pit bulls or tanks. Right off the bat, kill the harvester, use that money to get extra buildings and more units out. That's <clears throat> that's limited, which is, is that's not necessarily a bad opener, but it's not a great one. Um, here's the big thing. He's got no scout. He needs a scout unit if he wants to even have that option, unless he's got only a rush build here. Um, and two, he needs to be able to handle infantry and vehicles in case he gets rushed when he gets out of Harvester, so he can actually make the money to fight back. Uh, he's got a barracks, which can build anti-infantry, or a war factory, which can build anti-tank, neither of which can do both right now with the units he has in here. So if he builds a barracks and the guy comes at him with tanks, he's screwed. If he builds a war factory, the guy comes at him with infantry, he's screwed. Um, so this is... And it takes too long to get the money early game. Your money ramps up. You make more as you go. Early game money is very valuable because <coughs> you're more limited. And it would take like 20, 30 seconds for him to get his other, you know, building and to get the unit out to counter what he needs to counter. And at that point, he's already lost the harvester. It'll be at a huge disadvantage. Um, also, he's building from all four buildings. And I've even told Terra this recently. And I've put it in earlier guides before. You don't want to build out of all four buildings. Pick one to drop. You want two or three buildings to have your whole army from. Otherwise, you're spending too much money on buildings, and you're also at a huge money disadvantage. I mean, you throw in a fourth building, you might as well have just given them your harvester at the start of the game, and it limits your options at the start to the medium part of the game. So it's very difficult to run with all four buildings. It is... I. It's doable, but I highly, highly, highly suggest against it. It's like the double harvester rush. You could do it. It, it is a option, but it is a bad option. It is not a good option to choose. Every now and then you could do something like it for fun, you know, or do it to throw someone off their game. But that's those would be the only two times that it might even be potential, uh, potentially a good idea. Anyway, so I would suggest, you know, either... Get, like, a rifleman, or not a rifleman, sorry, either a rocket squad, because you already have an anti-infantry unit, or an APC, that way you could start with a barracks or a war factory and drop either the airfield or the tech lab, um, or you could drop the war factory or the barracks, you could drop the barracks and get an APC, you know, um, <clears throat> you've got lots of options, but it's important that you get an APC, uh, not an APC, I'm sorry, uh, a rhino. But, like, a rhino would be a good scout unit. A rifleman would be a good scout unit. You, you want to have a scout unit so you have that option. Also, you want to be able to counter both vehicles and infantry from your first building. So if you build something, you know, to counter one and he's doing the other, you don't have to stop and build a whole extra building and then build the unit to counter before you can counter him. And that whole, you know, that gives him all that time to kill your harvester, get a huge advantage, more units out, and you've practically lost. Um... Also, you want to be able to have things that can push on his harvester. If you get a scout or something, you see he's going for two harvesters, you want to be able to put the pressure on him. I mean, two harvesters is not seen in, like, my level that often, but at his level, he's going to run into a lot of people that do that. Now, he could do, put that pressure on with, say, the pit bull. Um, so, I mean, he does already have that in here. But I'd highly suggest dropping a building and making sure you can handle both out of whichever your first building is, either your barracks or your war factory. And the airfield... I highly suggest not making that your first building, but your second building, um, because it's so expensive, and most of the good units from it that you might need are so expensive. You know, if he does, like, an attack bike rush, what are you going to do? You know, it's, you're not going to pump out an airfield, a harvester, and an anti-tank air unit, you know, that costs, like, 70 points in this case, and the airfield costs 50, it's 120 points. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's not happening. <clears throat> At least not immediately, right away. I'm talking about the very beginning of the game. You can move into it later, though. Um, maybe let's go and watch this.
Just some army suggestions, like I said, for him. Starting off. Do times two speed on this. So he starts with a harvester. Very good start there. But he doesn't get out his rifleman right away. Or he doesn't have rifleman. That's right. He's got the uh, other guys. Now he builds a second building. That wasn't good. You don't have Your buildings don't have a time limit on them. Your units do. You know, it would have been more important for him to get out of his unit and have killed multiple units, then gotten out of the war factory. And he'd still be able to get out his next unit at the same space pace actually earlier so it would have given him a full unit advantage just swapping his build up a little <clears throat> but he did good with the disruptors at first he did good defending his harvester with the pit bull bringing out the air unit he's now paid three buildings so i mean money wise he would be at a huge disadvantage but his opponent's being very bad here and didn't build any harvester he's making no money which means since he's been making double money he's made up for that uh you should run away with that air unit that's funding the Rhino while it's reloading so it doesn't just keep taking damage. Also, I would have pumped out a second uh, Disruptor with as much infantry as he's pumping out right now. You are doing good with the uh, pit bulls, you know, countering his vehicles. You know, I would continue with some of that using air units. Air units, not good against infantry. That air unit specifically is not good against infantry. It's a bomber. It's good against vehicles. Should use that on his pit bull, take him out or pull back. Um, or look for a harvester or something, you know, I mean, help out with infantry, yeah, when they're shooting at something else, but you don't want to waste them. Uh, that tank was almost unnecessary, because you could have killed that pit bull with that bomber. Um, if, I mean, and you've got another pit bull. You, this thing, you've already got a tank now, and that just lost against rocket squads, which is not good. But the you know, Titan was, again, unnecessary, very expensive. Uh, <coughs> you know, not, uh, not some smart pay stuff. I mean, you're building anti-vehicle... But he doesn't have a lot of vehicles. He's pumping out infantry. You should have been building more of the disruptors. Um, but other than that, good job. It's, I think you're going to go very far in this game. You're, you're countering mostly properly. You know, you're still learning. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Um, th the biggest thing I saw was your army composition. And you know what? Going back, because it looks like you have redone your army already, you've uh, you still got the barracks, the airfield, the war factory, and the tech lab. You're still making the same mistake with this new army versus the old one of using all four buildings. You should drop one. But you've improved to where you're building your anti-infantry... No, you didn't improve. But say you put two infantry coming out of the barracks for anti-infantry instead of one for vehicles and one for infantry. Um... But you have a scout, finally. You didn't have a scout before. <coughs> I really suggest that you either get a rocket squad coming out of your barracks, maybe in place of the disruptors, or even in place of the riflemen, um, or get an AP... Not, I keep wanting to call it an APC, a rhino to go with your war factory and then start with a war factory. But if you do that you want to drop something. I mean, you really should drop something at this point because you've got... You have a barracks that's only good against infantry, a war factory that's only good against tanks, an airfield that's only good against tanks. I mean, if he builds an air unit against you at the beginning of the game, you literally have no unit that can even fight that air unit until you get out your tech center, which is 120 points. That is expensive. If he goes after your harvester, you're just giving him... A it's going to take you like two minutes with no <coughs> I will have to call him back in a moment um anyway other than that very good job you got a long ways to go but you you have I think the skill and a lot of potential to actually make it why does it keep saying I've got a new one anyway uh hopefully this video will help you get on your feet a little bit better there are only <coughs> There's four good openers. Well, there's four openers. Three of them are good. Double Harvester's the bad one. You have the Rush, which you can just get, you know, a pit bull, a tank, jet troopers, and just rush them straight at the enemy Harvester, um, attack bikes, something like that. And then if they go for Harvesters right away without a scout or anything to defend them, you're going to kill them. Uh, there's the Counter Rush, which is you build a scout right away, and then if he's rushing you, you don't build your Harvester, you build stuff to counter him, and if he's not rushing, then you pull your Harvester out. And then you've got one that's more of a bit of a counter to that, but a little bit more vulnerable to the rush, but could still try to hold it off. So one that I do, where I start with the harvester, and then I get a scout right away, and I've got early game units that I can pump out. If I see him coming after my harvester, I can block him off, fight him off, try to save my harvester, and then push back. So those are generally your openers. 
Anyway, those are some great options. I do have some other gameplay I really want to go over with you guys, but I need to make a phone call, so I'm going to have to cut the short here, and I'll just take the rest and add it to my top five soon. Talk to you later. Hope you all enjoyed. If I can close it all, there we go.